coffee acquired. Good for liver. Hello and welcome back to the ASMR Cami channel. Today is not an ASMR video, rather one of them little ramble videos where I get stuff off my chest which is annoying me as it's easier to talk into a camera to a bunch of people I don't really know rather than talking to professionals. I'm just slavered. I apologise. Have another sip. As you can see, I'm waffling again. I'm rambling because I'm nervous. It's nervous stuff to talk about. But if I'm being honest, second to be serious, mentally may be in the worst state of my life. Now, I did have a spell about maybe three years ago now where I felt similar to this, lacking the day-to-day -day motivation for daily tasks, feeling in this rut, this constant depression. And I sort of entered it again and I'm just realising you know, there's a lot I'm not particularly happy with surrounding my life at this current minute. Now, obviously, there's been an ever-ending talk about confidence issues on this channel. I have, even before all this alopecia stuff, I've made videos talking about confidence. And I did sort of improve significantly in that regards before this current year. I went from not doing a lot in my life to being at uni five days a week, working at weekends... From never really going on a proper night out to going on a night out every single week, socialising, meeting new people. And then out of nowhere, the health concerns began. I was taken into hospital, you know, the rest, liver disease, the hair went. And then I've just backtracked, had a relationship going on for five months. And the way that ended, the, the ghost in me, essentially, that's also knocked my confidence completely. Now, in this year, again, what has happened this year has taught me that in six months, a lot more can happen than you really think. You know, they say, you know, all oh, stuff can change a year. In only six months, I went, I lost all my hair, was diagnosed with a liver condition, had a relationship, that relationship ended, drop, I've essentially dropped out of uni, unfortunately. Now, the thing is with uni is, because my course was taught by a me the medical, I can't remember, like, medical side of things and that. I was told in this second year it was a case of I was going to be there five days a week, still having to work my weekends and that. And because of, like, my, uh, when the course was starting for this year, I was at a time I was getting used to, like, dealing with the fatigue and that. And just for the cu first couple of months, it was just, it was not feasible for me. I didn't live at the university, I commuted, so you're looking at days that started at six to coming home at like six or seven and then doing loads of work five days a week and working at weekends. And with all the fatigue I've experienced, it's not realistic. So let, to go over all the main issues at the minute is, I'm in this rut of depression where obviously I'm wanting to change stuff all the time, but I'm just struggling, I'm struggling to do it. The problems are, obviously, I mentioned... It's just absolute waffle, this. I haven't wrote anything down. It's just all off the top of the cranium. We've got the uni... Now, I can return to that in a year's time, but I've even been reflecting, was that course necessarily for me? In that year, I don't think I did brilliantly on the course. It was too sciencey when I was interested in more of the, the sports side. It was all about, you know, obviously, biology, chemistry, which is sports, but just... I weren't excelling at that anyway. At my current job, I've got, I'm sort of on part-time hours and they can't really offer any more hours because it's just what I'm contracted to. They've got a lot of members of staff there. And you say, I'll get a different job. But because I'm, they all, every single member of staff knew me before I've gone through this. At this current time, I don't think I'd be able to fit in changing job at this current, this current time in my life because at the end of the day, like, I went, even went on a sober night out the other week. I ended up having two pints one night. I know it was bad, but I was having a really down day. And I'm just going around town holding my cap like this because I've had times I've gone into town, people flicked it off. 
and I'm just, I'll just go, and you can't have a good night, I'm just like this, going out at 9am, dancing to that, but it's just, I shouldn't be in nightclubs anymore, it was something I enjoyed before, but I think I have to cross that, cross that off now, I'm not going to be able to go there anymore, really. Uh, she said get a new job obviously I'm just not comfortable in my own skin to change at the minute so it's just a case of going through each month not with that many hours so having a lot of free time but in that free time instead of fulfilling it with stuff I'm just in this depressed rut of doing very little stuff uh, we've got the football again I mean last night I ventured down to training to train with a team that I'll be playing for and I'm not going to not gonna lie, I had an absolute masterclass in training, literally. We had the shooting drill, I went with the strikers, bobbed in nearly everyone. And then we had a little training game, um, a little nine -a It was like 18 at training, so we did a big full pitch nine side game. And my team won 4-1 and I got three of the goals. So obviously, I, but I just can't, as much as it's simple, you've just got to throw yourself in there and play in that. There's a lad in the team who's bold, he's 19, he gets on with it. And I think I would be playing that if I was just bold, but then now it's just everything on top of it. The eyebrows going, the beard is fully gone, it needs to be shaved, it's got a little bit at the bottom. The eyelashes are beginning to go. That annoyed me the other day. I'm going to look really weird if they fully go. And I've managed, I'm just waiting for this hospital to just keep saying it's like a 20 week wait. And I've been waiting since May and not had any proper treatment, so... I'm in a position, I'm in a rut in my life where I'm ready for a change. I'm not at university. I can return a year's time if I want, but I'm not fulfilling my life enough. And I, I people, I clicked at work. Someone at work was like, does it not make you, you know what I mean? Because there's no guarantee of where I'm going to be in 10 years health-wise. Does it not make you want to go and travel the world, etc.? And that sunk with me, like, not necessarily traveling the world, but I need to be doing more with my time. I can't be wasting my time, like, just working two, three days a week and then having the rest of my week just stuck depressed watching films and TV programmes because I'm too depressed to do it. I mean, I've signed up for this 3,000 press-up thing in November, but, like, in regards to dating, even, I've been using all dating apps and, like, people in Adam and people have been genuinely saying they don't mind the alopecia and that, but it's just so installed in my brain. I'm pushing people away. Anyone I get to know, I'm just, like, I feel like they're just continuing to talk to me out of this big sympathy thing like I can't get installed in my brain that someone might still think I'm all right despite the alopecia because I've just got this this thing I can't get over like this cap just doesn't come off apart from when I'm in bed at night absolutely I, I go to the mirror and I have to crouch I'm like brushing my teeth there's a big mirror across and it's bad really but you know, I'm ready to change career. I want to get in. I'm not in bad shape at the minute, but I've all wanted to get in phenomenal shape and proper dedicate to summit. You know, I suppose football and going out drinking were my two big hobbies that I did all the time. And they've both gone recently. Football, I know I, sh I, can I should be playing, but I just can't bring myself to do it. So if I can need something else, I always wanted to box. I enjoyed leaving the boxing fitness side. I can get back into the fitness side. I don't think it, with a liver condition it'd ever be a good idea to proper box. So I don't know if taking shots to liver is quite a known shot in boxing, the liver shot. don't know if it'd be very healthy for that. But again, even in the sessions, you look weird boxing a cap. So it's like I need to somehow get my mind in a good place where I can accept myself like this. I know, I know there's no guarantee of my hair coming back. It's just the hope of, you know, trying something at least. I know there's options like a hair tattoo or microblade or whatever it's called. But I've got to get into a position where I can sort of move on with my life and get out of this rut. But I've been doing not on my days off work, I don't do anything at all. I'm just in really these depressed states where like I think my YouTube channel shows has been a problem like with like laziness almost. I mean my I've been doing this channel for two years. I still haven't got a microphone. There's always been this like depressive thing that I can't get over that stops me doing stuff like Tyson Fury said there was times where he couldn't even have a wash or brush his teeth and I'm not to that extreme but it does stop me doing stuff like working out trying to you know what I mean like I could be in my free time I could be dedicating to this more I could be putting more effort in at the end of the day I've got 3k subs with not putting too much effort into this channel like imagine if I got a microphone learn how to edit who knows where this channel could go? 
You know, I just need to put my free time into better use. Anyway, this is a lot of waffle. Even I don't even know what I've just said in this 10 minutes, but it's essentially what I do. I put a camera up and I waffle for 10 minutes. So, see you later. Bye-bye. Don't even know what I've said. Up the coffee.